Part 1. First, you have some time to look at question. See, Keddie, today many people donated books at our free book reading store. It's surprising. We never had so much of collections. Why so? Actually, last week I advertised for book donations for the store. Oh, really? It's great. Now what do you want me to do? Now we have to put all these in the related shelves and prepare a catalog. It's a huge work. It will take time, maybe a whole day. Shall I call some more friends? No, no, no. We too are sufficient. It's a very small place and more people, more confusion. The caretaker of the place will also help us. Let's start without wasting time. You will tell me the name of the book and author. I'll prepare the catalog and register it. The storekeeper will place it on the related shelf. That's very systematic and fine. So let's start. Okay. Now look at questions 4 to 10. Hmm. Yes, I'll start from this pile. The first book is Cricket is My Passion. It's written by Peterson. So, uh, it's a book on sports, and who is the publisher? It's France, PVT, Limited, from France. Is there any other books on sports? Yes, two more are there. One on football, and the other on titles. Hmm, Cricket is My Passion. And you can search other titles. The donors have given a lot of good books. I think the books will be of great help. Oh yes, I've done it. Which one is the next? The next books are My Practical Experiences with Kitchen, Tips to Cook Tasty Food, and Three Meals Quick Cooking. All are related to cooking and written by single author Sam Joseph. Right, and the publisher is? It's St. Mary Publishing House Career. This writer has written many books on hospitality also. I read some of those last week. Oh, really? Now, Anthony, the next one is Robert Ballack. He has written series from one to six. All the books are value-related storybooks. The title for all is Everyday Bedtime Stories for Children, and the publisher is Versatile Publishing House London. My mother also told me many stories from this book in my childhood. The stories really inculcate values. Would you like to tell these stories to your children also? <laughs> yes. I'll suggest all mothers to read and tell these stories to their children. Okay, now next I can see some books on tour and travel. You are right. Here are five books in all. All are related to travelling. The titles are My Journey to Mountains by Johada John. Unbelievable Experience of Country Tour by Linda John. Around the World in Ten Days by Ken Smith. Bushwalking by Dr. Lisa Lester. And the last one is Measuring Sea by Radhika Joseph. All these books are published by the same publisher, McClelland Publishing House, New York. Kitty, if you get tired, we can stop for some time and have a cup of tea. It's not compulsory to finish it today. We can do it another day also. No, no, I'm really enjoying the task. It's surprising to see so many books and titles at a time. I'm enthused. I'm feeling energetic to see all these. Okay, then tell me the next. Now these are all management books. I think they're all course books. They will be beneficial for students doing management courses. Oh really? I've also read many management books while doing my MBA degree. These are Money Management by Ketty Gomez. Life Management by Linda Korn. Economical Growth and Finance Management by Dr. Michael Goredge. 
man management, time management, work management, child management. Oh my God, these 10 books. Do you want me to tell you all? These all are published by Masterman Publishing House Thailand. No, I'll enter them all under a single title so that one can search them easily on the shelf. Shall we continue or leave it for another day? Because now I have to go home. My mother must be waiting for me for lunch. Thank you, Katie, for your services. It's my pleasure. That is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turns to part two. Part two. You are going to hear a radio talk for the students planning to make a career in hospitality, especially in Australia. The radio talk is given by a lecturer from the hospitality department. First, look at questions 11 to 17. Hospitality is a dynamic and fast-growing industry which offers many different career opportunities including bar attendant, barista, chef, cook, food and beverage management, concierge and porter, hotel service supervisor, waiter. First is bar attendant. He prepares, mix and serve drinks to customers in hotels, bars, cafes, restaurants and clubs. Here are the career opportunities. Bar attendants can work in hotels bars, restaurants, cafes, clubs, recreation and convention centers and other licensed entertainment venues. The other job is waiter. You may already be working in a restaurant or caf or friends who are doing so. You can work in a restaurant, fast food chains, cafe or a hotel and can work in the food or drink service and on the floor or in a bar. But if you are over 18, it is busy, exciting work and requires someone with lots of energy good communication and customer service skills. You'll have to work nights and weekends. However, it gives you lots of opportunities to travel as well as meet new people. Barrister, keep it fast, keep it simple and concentrate on taste. Those are the keys to what a barrister does. And if you have a dynamic and passionate focus for coffee and service, then this could be the career for you. A barrister is a professional coffee maker. This is someone who has the necessary skills to prepare and serve espresso coffee. Next is a cook or chef. If you like cooking, want to work in an energetic and dynamic environment, are creative, like doing things with your hands and don't mind working hard, you can become a commercial cook. Cooks or chefs work in restaurants, cafes, hotels, motels, clubs, hospitals, takeaway outlets, function centers, catering firms, flight catering centers and ships, it is challenging work as you have to work long hours and nights and weekends. However, it is extremely rewarding and offers great career options and job satisfaction. The other one is food and beverage managers, also called food service managers. They actually plan, organize and control the operation of establishments where food and beverages are served such as restaurants, cafes, cafeterias and canteens. The other one is concierge and porter, Luggage porters carry luggage for guests in hotels and passengers in transport terminals, show their rooms, berths or cabins and provide other guest services. Concierge provides additional services to guests such as organising and booking tickets for tours and entertainment for guests and advising them on the service and attractions available in the local area. Another attractive job is hotel service supervisor. Hotel service supervisors coordinate and supervise the activities of hotel service workers including domestic staff, luggage porters and door persons. Now look at questions 18 to 20.
Now the qualifications required for these jobs are that most of the courses have Certificate 2 in hospitality as minimum. Certificate 3, Certificate 4 to provide supervisory skills, Diploma of Hospitality to provide management skills and Advanced Diploma of Hospitality to provide advanced management skills. These courses are available with all the college and universities related to hospitality. The Australian Hotels Association, AHA, is a useful organisation to be in contact with when deciding on a career in the hospitality industry. Their website provides information on industry updates, workplace relation issues, careers, policy, contact details and links to the state offices. The AHA website is useful to review and can be found at www.ahaorg.au. Restaurant and Catering Australia RCA is also a useful organisation to be in contact with. Their website is www.restandcat.au. That is the end of part two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part three. Part three. You will listen to a talk between two people. Mrs. Dam, who is the head of training nurses for practical training in a hospital. She is speaking with a student nurse about her training schedule in the hospital. Look at questions 21 to 26. Hello Angelina, I believe you are the student from Nightingale Nursing College, London. You were here to learn practical class for nursing. Absolutely correct, I'm here for a six month practical training. I guess your mother is also a nurse. She is in cardiology department. Yes, she is still a head nurse there. I know her, she is a very dedicated and devoted nurse. She received the best staff award last year, am I correct? Yes, you are absolutely correct. I also want to be like her. I have also worked with her. Most of the doctors quote her services as an example to their trainee students. She is a role model for most of the students and staff. I also want to walk on her footsteps. OK, my best wishes are with you. Let me first tell you about the different visiting hours in the hospital in different wards. They differ in every ward. Yes. Let me tell you about ICU, i.e. Intensive Care Unit. This part is very sensitive as most of the patients are here immediately after surgery, so chances of infection are more. Only one visitor is allowed, and that too between 9am to 11am and 6pm to 8pm. The doctors visit here four times a day. I understand that. Then is the surgical ward. The doctors visit here twice a day in the morning and evening, so we allow visitors any time, but we don't allow them to meet the patients for more than half an hour. As you know, they speak a lot with the patients. Do the visitors leave easily after visiting the patient, or they demand more time? In most of cases, they understand us and cooperate. Next is maternity ward. Here we allow visitors the whole day, the full 24 hours. They help the patients. Doctors visit here according to the need. But surely the visitors come to cheer up the patient. And what about the ward where the newborn babies are kept with their mothers? That is the next ward. There the visitors are prohibited, as there are chances of infection to the newborn, so there is no visiting hour. The visitors have to wait till the baby and the mother is shifted to the general ward. Doctor is available all the time. Oh, that's great. 
Do people wait patiently because they may be eager to see the new baby? They have to, as they are not allowed to visit the ward. Now look at questions 27 to 30. OK, next is your schedule for the training period. So are you ready? Yes, sure, but how do I have to work here? You will be here as an observer for 15 days. Your sessions will be with different doctors and under head nurses of different departments. That's great. It will be a totally new experience for me. On Monday, you will be in female surgical ward. You will be following Dr Dane on her rounds and in the wards, you will be under head nurse, Mrs. Maria Chino. OK. On Tuesday? On Tuesday, you will be with Dr. Raghav Johnson. He will be on round in the intensive care wards in the morning, afternoon and in the evening. And in the ward, you will be with head nurse sister, Mary Mathru. She is very humble and polite. You will learn a lot of things from her. Oh, really? Is there any day when I have to work with Dr. Oliver Gatt? He was there in our college for a workshop. I'm very much impressed with his words and outlook towards life and work. Yes, two days. Thursday and Friday, you will be with Dr Oliver Gatt and Dr Kim Paul. Both of them will take you through the children's ward and new kids ward, which is very elegant and technologically advanced. There, you will work with your mother also. As these days, her duty is in children's ward. She's very efficient in handling children. Yes, it's true, and it will be a new experience to work under my mother where she will be my guide as a professional. And on Wednesday, you'll attend the lecture for trainee staff. The lecture will be in Mother Mary Lecture Room between 9 o'clock to 1 p.m. and then again 3 to 6 p.m. That's good. I have to follow this roster for 15 days. I guess Saturday is missed out. Saturday is actually an off day for all the trainee staff from the hospital, but you can come and enjoy the environment if you want. Thank you for all your guidance and support. My pleasure, and God bless you. That is the end of part three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turns to part four. Part four. You will hear an interview given by the principal of E Thames Graduate School, UK. The principal is talking about the college environment and facilities to the students. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Hello, here is Principal Mrs Susan of the well-known E Thames College, London. She's going to tell us about the college. Along with this, she will answer some questions related to the college. Hello everyone, E Thames Graduate School is a dynamic higher education institution offering students a complete range of high quality UK recognised qualifications. Our career focused programmes provide students with the knowledge and skills required to ensure a smooth transition from the classroom to the workplace. Our mission is to develop each student's abilities to the fullest in order to produce outstanding professional and enterprising people for business, industry and professional careers. Uh, what about the students who are from other countries? 
students who may never had previously studied in the UK or who are new to studying at a higher education level or who may have had a significant gap since they last studied anywhere will find that the additional support provided at eTERMS really helps them achieve their goals. The excellent support from our academic team includes additional academic writing course essentials and study skills classes, plus additional English language support where required together with individual and group tutorials. Uh, who helps the students most? Our experienced student services team will act as the first point of contact for any query you may have, whether related to student finance, how to submit your assessment or where the nearest place of worship may be. Which courses are provided by the college? ETEMS Graduate School has agreements in place with the University of Sunderland, University of Bradford and University of Greenwich and has been offering Pearson Tests of English. ETEMS Graduate School offers courses in the following subject areas Business and Finance, Computing, Health and Social Care, Hospitality and Tourism, English, Corporate Training. According to you, why should students opt for ETEMS only? ETEMS Graduate School in London is an independent college offering higher education and English language programmes, post secondary English language programmes and post-secondary education to students from UK, Europe and countries around the world. The dedicated faculty and support staff at ETEMS Graduate School have helped thousands of students to achieve their qualifications as well as develop important skills enabling them to progress and graduate from higher level programmes or develop successful careers. Creativity, professionalism, innovation and fun is what life at ETEMS Graduate School is all about. Studying at ETEMS gives you the opportunity to combine a quality education with the experience of living in one of the greatest cities in the world. Anything you would directly want to convey to the listeners, you can. As the principal ETEMS Graduate School, You're never gonna make I am delighted You're to take enough. this opportunity to introduce you to our college. We take great pride in providing the very best quality education, facilities and support to all our students. ETEMS is the ideal place to progress towards your own challenging life goals. Here, you can really improve your career prospects by gaining the skills and quality of UK qualifications you need to stand out. Students choosing ETEMS will study for meaningful and globally recognised UK qualifications, whether on a higher national certificate or diploma courses, or undergraduate and postgraduate degrees awarded by our UK partner universities and awarding bodies, all with competitive fee rates. Our students don't just enjoy a plethora of academic opportunities, and those of London itself, but get the chance to grasp once-in-a-lifetime opportunities like international travel around Europe, as well as more conventional extracurricular activities offered on campus, like joining one of our sports clubs or making friends around the pool or play table tennis in the student lounge. I hope this brief introduction to ETEMS will help students a lot. I hope to see you in the campus sometime soon. That is the end of part four. You now have half a minute to check your answers.